our C4 uh, <coughs> situation. This is the mesophyll cell of a C4 plant. This is the bundle sheath cell. It's exactly like we were just seeing. You've got your CO2 being fixed by carboxylase. Um, four carbon compound gets transferred into the bundle sheath cell. It's decarboxylated. That goes through the Calvin cycle, uh, avoiding photorespiration because it pumps up the CO2 concentrations in the bundle sheath cell. Um, this uh, uh, pyruvate goes back to make phosphatidylpyruvate with the uh, extra ATP required to, to, to do that. This figure, there's a couple of things that the world is using. So there's two different cell types here. There's just one cell type here. These are not different cell types. This is a mesophyll cell, which is just a plain photosynthetic plant cell at night. This is the same cell during the day. I don't like the fact that they made them different shapes. They should have just made the same shape. Um, at night, what happens is that these uh, cam plants open their stomata at night and close them during the day. Why do they do that? They typically go grow where water is limiting. And so by opening at night, when it's more humid and um, not as hot, they lose less water um, through the stomata. So they open their stomata at night, and they fix CO2 using tough carboxylates into a four carbon compound, an organic acid. Then they store those organic acids in a vacuum. Okay, so plant cells have a cell wall, they have a nucleus, they have the mitochondria, they have the chloroplasts. They also have a vacuole, which is a place to store cells. Human cells don't have vacuoles. This vacuole in these cam plants is really big. So the reason cam plants are succulent is because they've got these really big vacuoles that are storing a lot of organic acids at night. So they store all these like, organic acids at night, and then during the day, they close their stomata, and they get CO2 by decarboxylating those four carbon compounds, those organic acids. They increase the CO2 concentration in the mesophyll cell during the day. That allows the Calvin cycle to go and the visco to bind CO2 instead of oxygen. And they basically do photosynthesis until they run out of uh, four carbon compounds with CO2 to decarboxylate, and then they stop doing photosynthesis. So they can only do as much photosynthesis as they have stored CO2. So it's a spatial, or sorry, Spatial separation here is a temporal separation. <coughs> All right, 